Hello there, today I will be showing you the simplest way you can record your videos and create time lapses. First you're going to need to record the video. For that you're going to need OBS Studio, so type that into Google and download it from obsproject.com. After you download and install the program, open it and go to bottom left corner where you are going to see scenes and sources. First go to scenes, click on this plus button, name your scene and click OK. After that go to sources, click this plus button and here you are going to have a few options. You can go with display capture, game capture or window capture. Everything else you can pretty much ignore. I'm using game capture when I'm recording gameplay video and display capture I'm using right now. After that go to settings, go to video and here you can set your resolution and frames per second. After that go to output, click on recording and here you can set your recording path, you can set recording format, encoder and if you want you can rescale output but I didn't use that. For recording format and encoder I would recommend MP4 and H.264. And now you are ready to record your video. You can click on start recording and it will record. After you set everything up for recording and record some videos you're going to need an editing software. I would recommend DaVinci Resolve because it is free and it has everything you need. So type DaVinci Resolve into Google, download it from blackmagicdesign.com. After you download and install the program, open it up and you're going to see this window. You're going to want to double click on Untitled Project. After you open a project, you go to your recordings folder and just drag and drop the recordings you want to edit. This window will probably pop up, you just click don't change, you don't want to change anything. If you really want to change the frame rate, you can click this button here and here you can set your timeline resolution, you can set your timeline frame rate. Now you can just drag and drop your file here. This is going to be the full length of your file and this down here is going to be the fine tuning. They are going to be little thumbnails so you can better navigate your footage. What you need to know here is that you can right click and click on split. That will split the recording in half so you can remove the parts that you don't want. You just click on delete and it will remove them. Now after that you can go right click and change speed. Now I'm doing this because I want to demonstrate. If I change speed now and click play you're going to notice it's going to be laggy. The computer will have problems rendering all those frames. You need to lower the resolution so the computer can handle rendering the footage. For that you go to the bottom right corner, click on that and make sure that it is on master settings. You scroll down a little bit, go to optimize media and render cache. Here you have proxy media resolution. It will be on choose automatically, you want to go to quarter because you're going to speed up your footage quite a lot. Now after that go to media, right click and go to generate proxy media. When your media is generated I usually just go to file, click on a new project, I don't save and just create a new project. When the new project opens up you can go to your videos folder and here there will be proxy media folder generated. Navigate through the folders and here is your proxy media. Drag and drop it here, don't change the frame rate and now as you can see the resolution is a lot lower. After that go to cut and drag and drop your file here. Now if I change the speed of my clip to let's say 20, when I press play everything will run smoothly. But if I render this clip now it's going to be a low resolution. So after you are done with your editing, you edit everything, you sped up everything you wanted. Now go to media again, right click on the file, go to replace selected clip 
and come back to the original clip, which is this one. And double click on this. And as you can see, it is going to change the resolution here. Now the resolution is the same as it was. Now you can go to the liver. Here you can change the file name and location. Just click browse and choose the folder you want to save it in. Choose the file name, click save. It will appear here. Down here you have your format and codec. For that I would recommend use MP4 and H.264 codec. Here you can change the resolution and frame rate, but that is best left as is, because this is going to be what your timeline is. After that, you can just click add to render queue. Your job will appear here and click this render all button. And that is it. Your video is now being rendered and that's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. If you want to know more, you can write in the comments. I will make sure to answer everything. And you can also Google. There is a whole bunch of tutorials which can help you to understand all of this better. But these are the basics that you need to know. If you want, you can like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. It will help a lot. And of course, if you have any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching and goodbye.